Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm talking about three of the biggest signs that you're dealing with a toxic parent or in-law. Of course, there's many different signs, but these three signs I think are the most significant and the most telltale signs. And I'm gonna leave the best for last, so make sure you watch all the way till the end of the video. So the first significant sign of that you're dealing with a toxic parent is them trying to control you. And this can be in different ways. They can tell you what to do. They can um, be really forceful, like ask you, but in a way where you don't feel like you can say no. They can make you feel bad, guilt trip you um, to get you to do what they want, give them what they want. Or they can tell you what you should be doing or shouldn't be doing. And all of this is an attempt to control your actions. And it's really unhealthy. It's, it's not good for you to be treated this way. It, it's very, um, it's really not good for us emotionally as people to be controlled. And so if you're experiencing this with your parents or in-laws, go ahead and set some boundaries there or talk to your spouse and have them set boundaries. And if they're not respecting it, have them enforce the boundaries, all right? And there's other videos I have on how to do that if you're interested. And then the second significant sign that you're dealing with a toxic parent is that they can't take no. They respond really poorly when you say no. Um, so they might guilt trip you, they play the victim, act sad that you're being um, so selfish and self-centered. They might get angry and lash out at you if you say no. And this isn't just, this just isn't healthy because you need to feel free to say no in your relationships. And to have a healthy relationship, you need to give, you do need to give to have that relationship be healthy, <clears throat> but you shouldn't be doing it out of obligation and feeling like there's that threat there that if you say no, they're gonna get mad at you, they're gonna guilt trip you, you know? Um, and so if they're doing acting like this, this parent or in-law, if they're acting upset, acting angry when you say no, you need to have a boundary with that. And then if they're not respecting that boundary, enforce the boundary. Now the third, and what I think is the absolute most significant sign that you're dealing with a toxic parent or in-law is that they respond poorly to boundaries or they don't respect the boundaries. And so they might, same thing with if you say no, they get, they play the victim, they get upset, make out that you're being so mean to them by sharing how their behavior makes you feel hurt or disrespected or they might get angry and lash out at you. How dare you tell me um, not to treat you poorly? How dare you not be comfortable with me treating you however I want? This is not healthy, all right? Um, we all need to be respected. We all need to feel like if someone is treating us a way that bothers us, we can say, hey, this is bothering me. I'm not comfortable with this. And if we can't do that in a relationship, we can't, there is no relationship. It's not a healthy relationship. And so the answer to that, if you have a toxic parent or in-law that reacts really poorly to boundaries, gets to weirdly set a boundary with that and say, hey, I need to be able to set boundaries here, communicate my boundaries when I need to. If you're going to react this way, then I need to just do something to protect myself from your behavior and not even talk to you if this is go how you're going to act. Which would you prefer I do? Would you prefer that we just don't have relationship and I not say anything? Or would you prefer me to come talk to you and you respond appropriately and we talk this through respectfully? Because those are your two choices. It's not gonna be me not saying anything and me continuing to allow this behavior to continue to me. So, Hope that helps guys. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to give me a thumbs up on this, a like and share it with someone that you think it'd help, really appreciate it. Talk to you soon.